Hi, my name is Ben Plesier and I am a fervent user of Wappler. This is what I want to create. A video gallery containing videos that have been previously been posted on YouTube. The idea is to open a modal dialog to play the video. G'day blokes, I'm Brett. And I'm Bill. And welcome to Bob TV. And today we're talking about identity. When I close the modal dialog, the video stops playing. I can now choose another video. G'day blokes, I'm Brett. And I'm Bill. And welcome to Bob TV. And today, Brett, we're going to be talking about procrastination. So let us get started. In Wappler, I have started a Node.js project. The index page has a container with a top margin, a row and three columns, one for each of the videos that I plan to show. The project has been created with an own server. This is very important for the next step because Wappler usually defaults to a Wappler local server. This project makes use of a custom component that plays YouTube videos in a modal. The custom component is added to Wappler by means of an extension. To add an extension, I select the Extensions tab. Here I am asked for the name of the extension. To get the name of the extension, I go to the NPM registry site where we find the Wappler repository. I will leave the link to this repository below to make it easy for you to find. At the bottom of the page, is the YouTube player that I want to use. I take a copy of the name and go back to Wappler. Here I paste the name of the extension. To add the YouTube player to the page, I select the relevant column. This can also be done by choosing the column in the canvas. In the pop-up, I go to Components and the YouTube player. If you find that the component is missing, like I experience here, choose the Reload Page button. Repeating the process shows the YouTube player component allowing me to place it inside the column. In the Properties panel, I need to enter the video ID. For this I go to the YouTube page containing the video that I want to show. Here I choose the video and select the share button. I copy the link and paste it in Wappler. I remove the first part of the link so that only the ID remains. To finish off, I add the title of the image. The title is used as the alternative text for the video image. The title is also used to populate a hidden text field for assistive technology. And that is our first video. I have gone ahead and created the other two videos. This leaves me to ensure that the layout is suitable for each of the devices. Being a mobile first framework, I first go to the mobile view. Here I want to show the videos in a single column. I select the row and in the properties panel, I set the row columns to 1. Then I scroll down to gutters and set the vertical gutter to 4. Tablet view comes next. Here I set the row columns to 2. And finally, for the desktop view, row columns is set to 3. And that is it for the video gallery. But what if this is part of a content management system? Rather than hard coding the component, it needs to be dynamically driven. I have prepared for this by adding a database and table and fields. The table has been populated with data for the different videos. In the workflows section, I have created an API that reads the data from the database. In the front end, I can remove the two last columns so that just the one column containing a YouTube player component remains. Now to add the data source. Here I add a server connect.
The server action is the read API. The row is converted to a repeat region. The expression is the data source. Lastly, the YouTube player component. The fixed values are removed. In their place, I add the dynamic values. Save the document and we are done. A note about the YouTube player component. I created this component, mainly for my own benefit. It cuts development time to practically zero. After seeing the benefits, I decided to make the component publicly available as has been shown in this video. If you like what you have seen here, please leave your comments below. Even if you have criticisms, feedback is always welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.